When someone talks to you about chart of accounts in Oracle, what do they really mean? Hey, it's Kat from Tutor Ally, and in this video, I am going to share with you a quick definition of chart of accounts and what they mean. First, what are they? The ch term chart of accounts is not specific to any technology like Oracle or SAP or any other resource the planning software for that matter. It is an accounting term that enables you to categorize all of your business transactions meaningfully. So you can have expenses that come in to your business as costs, or you can have things that produce money like revenue, or you can have stuff you own and stuff you owe like assets and liabilities. Your chart of accounts allows you to organize all of these transactions so that later on you can report on how well you're doing over a period of time. So really, the chart of accounts is like a system or a structure for you to be able to categorize all of your meaningful transactions that go through your business. And in the end, you can create a set of financial reports that tell you tells you how well you did in your business. Generally, in a chart of accounts, you're going to see various different ways in which you can break down your information. And the first level of breakdown is generally called the organization or the business unit. The next level of breakdown could be more specific in that within that business unit, it could be a cost center or a department or some sort of area that does business and therefore buys stuff and sells stuff and things like that. This could be known as, as my, I mentioned, a cost center or a responsibility center or a department, whatever have you. And then what happens is as you get into your chart of accounts, they're gonna get more and more granular until you get down to the nitty gritty accounts and types of accounts that represent your business transactions. Check out this video on tutorally.com where I go into more depth about charts of accounts, particularly in Oracle.